2 plus 2 equals 22. From a writing point of view, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it. Go ahead and write your answer in the comments section. The story takes place on this morning when Jack was furious and said to his teacher, Why did you give me a zero? Give me a perfect explanation. Let's talk about it. Let's not be impulsive. Let's have a good analysis. The first question was 2 plus 2 equals what? Jack wrote that it was 22. The teacher patiently tells him that addition is not putting two numbers together. It's adding them together. Isn't that the same thing? Look at this. The teacher has two pens in his hand. Then he takes two more out of this hand. How many pens are there when they are put together? 22. That's not right. It's four pens. Jack's temper got the better of him and threw the teacher's pencil case on the floor. The teacher was helpless. The next day, Jack's parents came to see the teacher. The teacher greeted them warmly. She thought they had come to apologize to the teacher, but instead they said something like, What's wrong on this so-called test? The teacher rushed to explain, 2 plus 2 does not equal 22. Addition is not putting two numbers together, it's adding them together. And? 2 plus 2 equals 4. His father didn't want to hear that. Are you saying that my son is not as smart as you? The teacher said helplessly, you know what 2 plus 2 equals, don't you? You're both. You got it all figured out, don't you? You smart ass little tramp. Teacher saw that the two of them were a bit grumpy. They are really like their son. The woman said they were going to complain to the headmaster because their son should have the right to think freely. If you say it's equal to a number, we have to equal it to a number. The teacher says that maths has nothing to do with free thinking. What exactly should 2 plus 2 equal? Jack's answer was 22. The teacher told him that 2 plus 2 does not equal 22. As a result, Jack threw a tantrum when his father heard that his son was being bullied. He took his wife to the school and went to see the teacher. So the teacher got a slap on the wrist. The next day, the teacher was tidying up in his office. The headmaster suddenly came over. The teacher thought that the headmaster had come to comfort her. But to her surprise, the principal wanted her to go and apologize to Jack's parents. The teacher felt aggrieved. They had hit her. How could she ask the one who had been beaten to apologize? The principal said, Our job is to teach the children. It's not your job to criticize them. But the teacher thought the child's maths problem was wrong. We as teachers should help him to correct it. The head teacher wanted to correct the teacher's idea with a maths problem. Add up all the students in the classroom and divide by zero. The number you get is how much respect you have for them. The teacher immediately disliked the headmaster. Dividing zero by a number still equals zero. You're not saying anything. The headmaster saw that his literacy level had been exposed. He instantly became emotional. He reprimanded the teacher for no reason. Reason. Then he left. Little did she know that this issue would. Protested by parents, the teacher was stuck in her office, afraid to leave. Finally, she was named and criticized by the head of the school. It was just a small problem of 2 plus 2 equals a few. But the head of the school said that the parents have sued you because you restricted the children's freedom of imagination. The children were psychologically damaged. You need to apologize to the public. Do you plead guilty? The teacher said, I was just teaching my students that 2 plus 2 equals 4. How can you limit children's freedom of imagination? There is only one answer to a maths question. The head of the school said, you are dismissed. We don't need a teacher who only knows how to count. Jack in a maths exam took a 2 plus 2 test question as being equal to 22. As a result, the parents complained to the teacher. The school decided to suspend the teacher. When he returned home, the teacher saw the news on TV. She was actually on TV. The presenter was so angry with the teacher on the show that she was so angry that she simply changed the channel. Another program discussing how 2 plus 2 equals something. She continued to change channels. All the channels were reprimanding her. She couldn't watch any more TV. Just then, the phone rang. It was the head teacher. She was asked to come to school tomorrow to go through the resignation process. She hung up the phone after that. The next day, the teacher walked into the school. She was shocked by what she saw. It turned out that the headmaster had arranged a press conference to clear the teacher's name. A press conference had been arranged in front of everyone. The headmaster told the teacher to go through the resignation process and to honor the labor contract. You were paid $2,000 last month. This month's salary is also $2,000. That's $4,000 in total. The headmaster was about to sign. The teacher hurriedly interrupted him. You've made a mistake. It should be $22,000 yuan. The headmaster was a bit confused. He glanced at it with his sidelight. There are so many journalists here. It seems to be the only way to go. But why do I feel that $2,000 plus $2,000 should equal $20 million and $2,000? Why does it equal $22,000? After the story was told, I'm a bit confused now, too, I think we should discuss it together in the comment section.